Now, a lot of us cringed, as I just said, when it came to maths at high school. I still remember my fourth form teacher. I'm not going to name him because he was so bad, I could never get engaged with maths. And within about three weeks, I was out and I was only 14 years old. But a new age method may actually have solved the problem. Eddie Wu is the creator of WooTube, a YouTube channel that teaches maths to even the most resistant students like moi. And what's more, uh, he says that it makes it fun as well. He has tens of thousands thousands of subscribers, and that number is rising really, really fast. Eddie joins us now from Australia. Great to have you on the program, Eddie. What are you doing differently than what my teacher did in fourth form? <laughs> Look, mathematics isn't easy for anyone, and I include myself in that category. When I was at school, my favourite subjects were English and history, so I kind of know that mathematics, even if it doesn't come naturally to anyone, uh, we can come to an understanding if we have the right support and an engaging approach to learning it, it's something that everyone can actually access. Okay, so so, so in, a, in a brief nutshell, what does the WooTube teach the kids? Why are they so excited about WooTube? Well, it's pretty funny. What's happened is that uh, many years ago, I actually taught a student who was very ill, and because he couldn't make it to school, I thought, look, it's a bit rough to just send you home and say, look, uh, I'm going to see you in a month after all of your treatment at the hospital is done. Come back after you've finished chapter five. I thought, look, technology can help us with this. So it was literally just for this one boy that I started to film all of my lessons. But from there, it just kind of spread. I think the thing that people have found is useful about it is that number one, it's accessible all the time that, you know, I know you guys were talking before about people using their phones. Uh, kids are on it all the time. It's, uh, you know, hundreds the time today that they're going to check it, well, why not be able to put learning in their hands? But in addition to that, I mean, the thing that I love, which is in the classroom, is just making sure that I engage kids with whatever it is that connects them to mathematics. Every kid, it's something different. Um, some kids just love solving puzzles. Some need some practical application, like where am I going to use this in a trade? Other ones just want to find some way where it makes contact with their lives. Like in sport, there are so many bits of mathematics in sport hiding in there in plain sight. Yeah, see, this interests me. Now, this really interests me. Does, does that mean you make it realistic and fun? And, and, and most of all, you make it practical, because so often when I was sitting in class, I was thinking, how on earth is this ever going to impact me in my life? Are you saying it's about being realistic and in, in, in how these problems and problem solving affects real life. Look, I think mathematics is everywhere, and every kid needs something a little bit different. So for example, uh, I mentioned sport before. Uh, I've got lots of boys who they'll come into my class and they'll be really polite about it because uh, they know I love what I teach. And they say, look, sir, no offense, I want you to know, I just don't do maths. And so I'll just sort of take that to one side and I'll say, okay, so what, what do you enjoy? And often they'll say, oh, soccer. I love soccer, you know, it, they live and breathe soccer. And I'll just start to sort of tease in as I talk about, say, geometry. I mean, picture a soccer ball, one of those, you know, those traditional black and white soccer balls. The pattern that makes a soccer ball and the way the pentagons and hexagons fit together is intensely mathematical. You kick a soccer ball, it makes a parabola through the air. And there isn't a single soccer fan I know who can't spat out some statistics about their favorite player, their favorite team. They're doing maths all the time without realizing it. So making sure that kids understand, yeah, mathematics might look abstract with the symbols and the shapes, but actually it really tells you something about real life. I think that's important. Eddie, you're, I love what you're doing, but your parents wished you'd been a doctor or a lawyer and you could have taken a job earning some big money. Do you have any regrets that you haven't done that? It's quite funny because the first time that I was uh, working full time in a school and I had one of my friends say to me, oh, how are you enjoying your first few, few days? And I said, I loved it. And they said, yeah, we give you six weeks before you can become a tired, cynical, frustrated old man. But actually, the more I've been teaching, this is my 10th year, the more I love what I do and sense that there's a real purpose. I mean, I think we need Australia and New Zealand, fantastic educators in our school who are passionate for the difference they can make for young people. Every day that I come to work, I can see the 30 kids in front of me and the difference I can make for their understanding, their growth in character, I think I just love it.